Good morning. We are going to discuss about uh, BCS theory. This is very fundamental theory which explains superconductivity. Before going to this, what do you mean by superconductivity? Superconductivity means it has zero resistance. Theoretically, it is not possible. Theoretically, we can say that it has zero resistance, but it is not possible practically. It means that 0 0.999 and so on. The resistance is very, very low. So theoretically, we can say that it has zero resistance. A material can have zero resistance. First of all, how we determine how, how we can attain this superconductivity means if you reduce the temperature to a beyond a critical temperature. For example, if you take mercury as an uh, element or a material, when, it re when you reduce the temperature beyond 4.1 Kelvin, what happens is the total resistivity, the total resistivity of the particular materials almost is nearly equal to zero. So what happens? It conducts complete electricity. What is electricity? Electri electricity is nothing but flow of electrons. So automatically what happens below a critical temperature, TC, what do you call this? Critical temperature. What happens? The total res resistance of a particular materials gets zero. So First of all, BCS theory, it is a name of uh, three scientists, Braden, Cooper, and Schaeffer. So, formulated the theory, what you call as BCS theory, and they awarded a Nobel Prize for that in 1970, 1972. Right, what is that? BCS theory is very critical one. What is, what you, how can we say, it is a quantum uh, mechanical explanation of this particular phenomenon, what you call as superconductivity. How it, is, how it happens in a particular material. What happens inside a material when, it, when the temperature is brought down beyond that a particular temperature. For example, for mercury it is 4.1. For other metals it varies. And what happens inside a particular material? So as you all know, what is correct means flow of electrons. So the basic, the, the BCS theory explains about electron lattice, electron lattice interaction. What is lattice? Lattice is a place where the atom is stored or placed right electron there is an interaction between the electron and the lattice so this is responsible for this superconducting phenomena what happens is an electron pair is formed since it is very fundamental electrons are negative in nature and two electrons negative in nature as your basic knowledge we can say two negative charges or two same charges ripple each other it ripple each other but in this particular case, what happens is two electrons are bind together. So it is very simple. Obviously, we can say, I can hold my hand like this. If someone wants my hand to be detached, they are giving amount of force. They are giving a particular force more than the force what I am tends to bind my two hands. So it is very simple. <laughs> the same thing happens over here. These two electrons are bind together. If a particular force acts on these two electrons, to hold that, uh, to overcome the electrostatic repulsion between these two electrons. So, when we apply the force, more than the force existing between the two electrons, which is electrostatic repulsive in nature. So, what happens? These two electrons bind together, and this binding of electrons, what do you call this? Cooper pair. Cooper pair of electrons. What is this Cooper pair? How electrons get bind together, even though it is as negative in nature, same polarity. So what happens? Phonon. Phonon is nothing but energy. Let you consider this as electron and this as another electron. Beyond this electrostatic repulsion, there is a force, as I already told you, there is a force which keeps these two electrons bind together. And what you got, this is, the responsible is Phonon, what you call it as? It, you can say it is as a phonon cloud, which forms around the surface of the electron. This phonon electrons interacts with this phonon energy, the transfer of momentum, and since the momentum is conserved, these two electrons forms, and it, what you call it as Cooper pairs. These Cooper pairs tends to move in a <laughs> orbit. For example, in ordinary metals, what in the case? In ordinary metals, what happens? What is resistance? What does resistance mean? <laughs> electron is flows in a path where it interacts or interrupts in the lattice point. 
due to the interaction of lattice points, the flow of electrons or the velocity of elect electrons get interrupted. In other term, we can say nothing as a resistance. For in this particular case, these electron, these two electrons bind together and moves in a path which overcomes the abstraction of elect that is electron lattice. So obviously, as a result, what happens? The flow is completely uh, to, to, a, to a particular limit. So there is no res there is no restriction or a hurdle on this particular uh, uh, point. What you call this uh, uh, interact uh, lattice point. So what happens automatically? Electrons the resistance gets zero. This is happens in this particular material. In this particular material, when that particular materials goes beyond a certain temperature. So this quantum mechanical explanation is given by these three scientists. What he called as BCS theory. Thank you.